Hello everybody, this is Scarecrow and we're back with Paper Mario. We've made it up to Shooting Star Summit. Got some stars to talk to here. I'll take a quick look around to make sure there's nothing hidden back here. There was not. Alright, let's go. Tell me about what's up. What's going on, Mr. Star Spirit? Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've ca cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. <laughs> Just the most basic, the most basic Bowser wishes you can imagine. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more. And then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're here beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will... Uh-oh. Mario! Looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Oh, okay. Save and continue. Yeah, things sound pretty bad. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a lot of work here to save the world. Oh boy. <laughs> Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Oh, hello, Bowser. Hey, what's up, princess? You're looking pretty good today. <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine! Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom! Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful! They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you know want anything, all you need to do is ask me, princess. I could grant wishes. 
course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, uh, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You'd better not cause trouble. <laughs> She's got a good witch laugh. I'll give her that. Please. If only somebody could help me. Oh, somebody knocking at the window? <laughs> okay, well, there you go, princess. There's someone to help you. Huh? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hello there, little star boy. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name's Twink. But you're... You're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Heavy Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh! You came because I wished that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? <laughs> <laughs> Does the star think he could do it? I bet no. I think the star cannot do that. <laughs> oh, look at his face. He's so sad now. He's like, oh man. I don't want to mess with Bowser, please. Uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy. Something a small star could do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, what wish can you grant? Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, <laughs> so I can't do big wishes yet. Oh, okay, you're a real novice. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. That's right, Twink. Don't be sad. I'm sure things will work out. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink! Do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. The Twink Pendant. Wear it and be the best twink in the world. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it. Princess Peach, I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Alright, see you later, twink. Oh, wait. Oh! Wait, twink! Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine and he shouldn't worry. Okay? Can you tell him that? Of course! I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach, definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Well, I'm glad that Twink's doing something. That'll help Princess Peach's worries a little bit. Mario, where are you? Definitely not up in the sky with you. I'm way, 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 way out here. About to get hit by a shooting star. Oh, actually, yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. You got the lucky star. A star-shaped pendant lets you use the action command. Okay, now we can do timed hits like we could in Super Mario RPG. That's what this will do for us. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on, you! Behind Mario! Would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Goombario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin. 
Okay. First, Mario. Choose the jump command and then decide which enemy you want to attack. There you go. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Press A right before landing. Right now, just before stomping at the enemy. Press A at exactly this moment. When you see nice appear, it means you've successfully used the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Goombario, you try to attack Mario. Okay, here comes Mario. Right now. Press A just before the attack strikes you. Nice. Yes, you successfully used the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Once you choose an enemy to attack, move the control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. Star flashes as soon as your power's at maximum. Let it go to hit him. I guess that's what it said. Alright, you successfully used the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure you've mastered how to use it properly. No, I didn't mean to hit yes. I'm just gonna end training. There you go. Well, I guess that's about all I can teach you. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are! Oh, it's it's just a regular Magic Koopa. Okay. What? It can't be! Were you following me? What a foolish star kid! I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. And if I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous! I'll tell Kami Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise! Here I come! Oh, you wanna go, buddy? I just learned how to do action commands. You're so done. Oh yeah, let's power jump on him. BAM! Then... Sweet! Two more. Come on, what you got? BAM! You're not catching me. Get stomped on! Nerd! Yeah, that's right. 15 star points. Thank you. Get out of my face. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. See you later, Twink. Oh, nope, he's back. Oh dear, I forgot to almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm all right, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. That's not exactly what she said, but it's close. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. All right, see you later, Twink. There he goes. Back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. All right, let's go, Goombario. We got some stuff to do. We got some star spirits to save. There's seven of them, and we're still not even that far into the game. But we're on video number four now. Oh, Mario! Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Okay, so go to Merlin's place. You got it. Merlin is out! Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he's out! Oh. <laughs> what the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe. No. Yes! It must be! You're Mario! I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Yeah, I did come earlier. Aren't you a fortune teller? Shouldn't you know that I did that? Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. 
what I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? No, please don't tell me a long story. Just let me go play the game. It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit and as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared. And I standing face to face. Then the far away, the pious was raised me up. Was amazing. I was still so young then. I believed in... But our hearts were... And then, so... Oh god, stop talking! Well, Mario's taking a nap. And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey! Mario! Were you listening to me? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as is humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Cooper Bros. To reach the Cooper Bros fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Oh my god, thank you for taking all that time to tell me exactly what I already knew! Alright, let's go over here. You don't want to go out there, it's way too dangerous. Going to Cooper Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all though, you shouldn't have to go ask old man Merlin for help. That'd be really bad news for us, I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys are extremely suspicious, as I said before. I wonder who you could be. Maybe not the Koopa Bros, right? Certainly not. Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Okay, Merlin, let's go. Oh, I like it when you opened the door, he was already moving. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fun little feature. I told you that you can't pass. Take off. Hmm. You aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves! Whoa, he's using the magic. Oh man, he struck him with lightning! Ah! Hm, just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. Uh, how'd you guess? How'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green. We retreat. For now. Yeah, get out of here, you chumps. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout. The Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one last part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you must find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Okay, see you later, Merlin. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and stay at the Toad House to restore my health and flower points. Hello, Mario! Refresh your body and soul! Would you like to take a nap? Yes. I'm gonna take a nap. Wow, Goombario just jumped into my pocket. Thank you for making that easy for me, buddy. We don't have to find a place for you to rest. You sleep well? Now that your body and soul are refreshed, your travels will seem much easier. Alright. Well, there we go. Oh, finally! Chapter 1, Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. That's right, all of the game that we've played up to this point has been the prologue, still. Now we're actually in Chapter 1. We're starting the game! Paper Mario, let's go. Okay. Whoop. Okay. I did not jump in time to avoid that. Get stomped on. Oh, I did not time that one. I'm gonna start using Tattle because I think it can reveal their hit points. And I think their hit points stay revealed after the battle. Oops, I did not read that though. If you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to zero and it will become much easier for you to defeat them. You can flip them with a pow block or a jump attack. 
There we go, good block. Yeah, I thought so. I put a health bar beneath them so you can see how much health they've got. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and tattle on the Goomba, too. This is a Goomba! Goombas are what you call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait! I'm one of them! Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around you. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Bros. They are pretty old school. Nope. You're not hurting me, boy. Get dunked on, nerd. Okay, let's take him out too. Ba bam, ba bam. The double shot. Okay. About all that. I'm gonna take a look at my time too. Okay, we need to go for a little bit longer here. First strike. Like I think we might be able to make it to Koopa Town, and that's probably where we'll stop. Go ahead and finish him off. And then I'll tattle on the Paragoomba to see what it looks like. This is a Paragoomba. Obviously Paragoombas are Goombas with wings. Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can't hit them with the hammer while they're airborne. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas. Nope. You're not doing it. Bam! Bam! Alright, I'm glad we have the timed attacks now. Now the, fa now the battles actually feel like there's something going on instead of just trading back and forth. Okay, yep. Nope. Get first struck. Dorcas, take it. Alright, um. Tattle on him. This is a spiked Goomba. Spiked Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. HP 2, attack power 2. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes or you'll get hurt or even paralyzed. Oh, okay. Interesting, I didn't know that that could happen. I knew I could get hurt, but paralyzing is something I did not realize. Oop, forgot the block. Jump. Bam, bam. See you later, Paragumba. All right, easy enough. Put another one down. Oh, what we get? The Dizzy Attack Badge delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. Okay, okay. pretty cool. Fright Jar. Wait, how many items am I holding right now? Okay. I think there's a limit to the amount of items you can hold. You got the POW block. Flips shell enemies and inflicts two da damage points on all enemies. Ooh. You, wanna, you wanna try and tackle me again? Ooh, gotcha chump. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump on the second one. Because if I keep them both flipped over, they won't be able to attack me. We'll be able to lower the amount of damage we take. Yeah, that's what I thought. You guys can't jump back over. And I'm just gonna stomp on your soft bellies over and over until you're crushed. But break all the bones inside of you. Oh, oh God, stop it! Mario, you monster! I don't care, I'm going to squish all you. If you so squish, you don't move no more. Thank you. Blue P switch, what does it do? Ooh. Okay, okay. It's over here. Oh, hello. This guy was hiding in the box. I'll show him what happens. Ooh, get wrecked. can't do anything with him, actually. I... Is there a way to just skip my turn? Strategy. Do nothing. Okay. Because he just... All he has is the ability to jump, so... We don't want to jump on that spiked Goomba. There we go. Easy enough. Ooh, mushroom. Thank you. Oh. Not swing at him in time. 
both of him go first. If I take out the Goomba, I'll be able to hit the spike Goomba with the hammer. Ooh, see ya. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. All right. Get the rest of these coins. Ooh, mushroom and a flower. Oh, over here. Where does this go? Oh. Okay, so we've got a star piece over there. I'll be able to get it as soon as I've got something that'll let me cross a short distance like that, I guess. Ooh, nice try. Okay. I'm gonna stop him. I'll use him to take out the Paragoomba. Oh, didn't quite get him. The timing's a little different because he was in the air. Not too bad, though. Uh, let's have him go first so we can take out the Koopa. Then I can take out the Spike Koopa. There we go. Just trying to limit the amount of damage we take. Ow. So much for that. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Take all the coins though. What do we got here? Nothing. Oh. Got something in here. Give me these coins. Yes! I'm gonna get the rich. It feels good. Toad Town, Koopa Bros Fortress, Koopa Village. Okay, so the fortress is over to the right. Oh. oh. Okay, well, I'm carrying a few different. I'll uh, we'll throw the sleepy sheep out, I guess. I didn't realize my inventory was full. Wow, you can only hold... Koopas like to live around, live around Pleasant Path because there's plenty of water for them to lounge in. Koopa Village is down this way. If you want to go to Koopa Bros Fortress, we should take the upper path and just keep going straight. Well, we gotta go to the village first. Yeah, well, hold on, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. You can only hold ten items at a time. So that means when I get to another item shop, I should probably store some stuff. Oh! What's in here? Attack FX B badge. Change the sound effects when Mario's attacking. Okay. That's kind of silly. Does it cost anything? It doesn't. Okay. Let's find out what the sound effect difference is. Alright. What do we got? Oh, we made it to Koopa Village. Nice. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You... You know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. Mean guys, they're really naughty. Uh-oh. Oh no, stupid fuzzy! Get back here with my shell! There you go. Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, all right? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. Okay. Oh, it did change the sound effect. <laughs> it's like a slide whistle now. <laughs> Oh, you're the best! Thank you very much! You're welcome. Can I take this fuzzy out? Do I have to jump on him, or can I just... If I stand in their path, right? Okay, that did not work. Get back here. I need to cut them off. You gotta be joking. Hey, there we go. Got that one. Okay, so the other one's gonna come from this way. Here he comes. Oh, I got stuck on the bush. 
Come on, let me jump on him. I'm like jumping right where he is. There we go. Okay, Let's get this out of the tree too. There you go, saved you guys from the fuzzies. Thanks, Mario. The shell is made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? You look the same as every other Koopa, buddy. All right, well, this is a good point for us to stop, so we're gonna stop here for today. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scarecrow. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.